I did not take any notes for this video, so here we go. Hello! One of my goals for 2017 is to do more book reviews on my channel, and as of today, I haven't done any. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I recently read a book and I have quite a few thoughts about it and I really wanted to share them and so today I will be reviewing The Female of the Species by Minnie McGinnis. This book just came out in 2016 and after it was released it was very popular. A lot of people were reading it and reviewing it and I just recently picked it up and decided that I wanted to read it and I have and now I want to review it. The Female of the Species is a YA contemporary book and it's basically just a look at rape culture in today's society. This book has three different perspectives in it and each of these perspectives is a different lens that people use to view rape culture. The first perspective is PK. She is a preacher's kid and she is looking to shed that part of her identity. She doesn't want everyone to identify her as the preacher's kid and she kind of views rape culture through the lens of the victim blamer almost. She makes a lot of harsh judgments about other women, the way that they act and dress and speak, and she has a very negative opinion about girls who are maybe a little bit more promiscuous than she would be. So her viewpoint is a little bit more conservative and a little bit more judgmental than others. The second viewpoint is Jack and he is the kind of macho sports guy. He makes a lot of jokes about women and their bodies and after he has sex with girls he likes to brag about it and talk about how they were in bed and stuff like that. So he's the guy that just brushes it under the rug and doesn't really care about the way that his statements and actions are being perceived. He just does what he wants to do for fun. And then the final perspective is Alex. Her sister was raped and murdered several years prior to the start of the novel and she views rape culture with more of a vengeful lens. She doesn't really like rape jokes or any kind of jokes about women's bodies or their habits or anything like that. She very much stands up for what she believes in. She's kind of quiet and shy but she is the silent warrior for changing the society's view of rape culture and for women and stuff like that. So I wasn't really sure what to expect going into this book. I had heard a lot of things about it but never really concretely what exactly the plot is about. Because I knew that one of the characters' sister was raped and murdered, I wasn't really sure if it was going to be a mystery where we are trying to figure out who the killer was or if it was going to just be a love story between two of the characters or if it was going to be a story about friendship. And in a lot of ways it was kind of all of those things. Each of these characters offers a very different perspective on high school and friendship and society. It very much is a character study about the way that people react to certain situations the way that people view rape culture. It's a look into a normal high school life with students partying and drinking and hooking up. I don't really know how to explain exactly what this book is about except for that it's amazing and it really is informative and you get such a different perspective with each of these three characters. You learn about the way that they think and you learn about the way that they can change. I think that while there are probably a lot more lenses through which to view rape culture, I think that the three characters in this book are kind of overarching lenses and pretty much everybody is going to identify with one of these characters and they're going to see themselves and the way that they react to certain situations in these characters. Through the book you can see the characters changing their minds and changing the way that they feel and the way that they react to situations and I think that it's kind of just a book about teaching how you should react to these situations and teaching about ways that you can help and if you identify one way and you think that that's a negative way to identify throughout the book you can learn to change and to better your viewpoint. I don't really think that there's a whole lot more I can say about this book except for that it is incredible. Each of the characters in this book are incredibly dynamic even the side characters that we don't get to read from their point of view. You really kind of start to feel for them and you identify with them and you you kind of want to know how their stories are going to end too and I just I really liked this book. My one qualm with the story is that the ending is very abrupt. I wanted more. I wanted to know what happened after the story ended. I wanted to see these characters again and see how they're reacting to the situations that lead up to the end of the book. That was my only downside for it is that I just I really wanted more. I felt like it should be longer. As I'm talking I can see how it's hard to explain this book. It's it's hard to really vocalize 
how important this book is because I can't really tell you much about the story itself. It's just a book that you kind of have to discover your, for, for yourself. It is definitely worth the read. If you want to learn a little bit more about the topics that I've mentioned, this is a book that really is just an educational tool. So that is my kind of rambly review slash discussion of The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis. If you have read this book, I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments. Of course, be wary of spoilers. If you're going to leave spoilers, give a good heads up about what's coming. If you haven't read this book and my review maybe piqued your interest, I'd really love to know that down in the comments as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again very soon. Bye!